How's it going everyone? Supremacist here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 sniper rifles within Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now this is just my opinion and this is my top 5 so if you guys do not agree with my my list of sniper rifles within Wildlands that's fine. All you guys have to do is just leave it down in the comment section down below. I love reading your guys' comments even if it does disagree with what I have to say because at the end of the day it is just a gun and it's just a game so with that being said and that out of the way Let's begin. Also, one more thing before the video actually does begin is that I have three points. One being every stealth kill you get is always a one hit kill. Every hit you guys get on an enemy during an engagement, usually what that means a gunfire or when you're engaged with an enemy, is usually it varies depending on where you hit them on the body, either in the chest, the head, the limbs. So usually when you get them in the head, it's a one hit kill. The limbs take a lot more than the chest and the chest can actually take a lot more than the limbs. So with that out of the way, I'm going to start this video. The first sniper rifle on my list is actually going to be the G28. Now on the G28, the base accuracy, the base handling and the base penetration for this weapon is super good, especially for a sniper rifle. Now the rate of fire on these first two weapons are very good, especially on the G28 because you can shoot 10, you can basically shoot 10 people with 10 bullets within a range of 10 seconds. Now that's, that's very good for an assault, uh, uh, not an assault rifle, a sniper rifle, especially when taking out very large bases and trying trying to actually get into the base without being detected using its noise reduction and using its penetration and the rate of fire. Now this weapon would usually take 3-4 to four bullets killing an enemy to the chest so I mean it actually isn't the best when trying to take out people usually at an engagement. The handling on it though makes up for this because this handling on this weapon basically the reload speed on it is super super quick as you guys can see in this gameplay. Now the next weapon on my list is actually going to be the SR25. Now as you guys can see, the accuracy, the range and the damage on this weapon is a little just just a little more than the G28. The reason why I chose this over the 28 to come into the fourth place is because of the damage on it. The noise reduction and the rate of fire are just a little less, but the damage on the weapon making it easier to kill enemies made the number fourth spot on my list. Now this gun reminds me of the G28 for a few reasons. Now I, one of those reasons is being that this gun's accuracy for the rate of fire on it is basically the same as the G28. It's just more accurate. So in saying that, the time to kill on this weapon is also better. It takes six, four to six bullets with the G28 and with this gun it only takes two to three bullets taking them out during an engagement with the enemy. So being able to take people out faster with less bullets and more accuracy makes the number four spot over the G28 easily. Now the next weapon on my list is going to be the SRSA one. Now the reason why I chose this gun is because it is a bolt action because of the damage, the accuracy, the handling and the rate of fire on this weapon. Now as you guys can see the damage on this weapon just for the base gun especially to have a really nice fire rate and a really good amount of handling on the weapon for the accuracy and things like that is super awesome especially for a sniper rifle. Now this makes the third, the third weapon on my list is also because of the time to kill. This only takes one to two bullets to the chest when engaged with enemies now especially in saying that having a sniper rifle with the amount of rate of fire that it has this basically makes it a machine being able to be engaged with the enemy taking one to two bullets to the chest having really good handling just to quickly reload that bad boy and then go again now this is this is honestly one of the one of one of my favorite guns especially sniper rifles within wildlands now I say that because usually the bolt actions have a slower handling and a slower rate of fire. Now the next weapon on my list is actually the MSR to come into the number 4 spot. Now as you guys can see the damage, the accuracy, the range and the penetration on this gun is absolutely insane. Especially with the rate of fire being not too bad but it's still a little slow. But the handling on this weapon is a lot better than the number 1 spot and I'll show you guys why I chose this for my number 4 spot. 
So a big thing for me is that being able to shoot enemies behind cover because as you guys know being able to snipe people from a very far distance and then they will usually probably hide behind cover not knowing where you are. Now being able to penetrate anything that they hide behind usually it being something that you can shoot through makes this weapon a absolute beast. Now this is one of my personal favorites to use because the handling on the weapon isn't as bad for its damage. Now as you guys can see in this gameplay it absolutely it melts people and it's just super good to use. Coming in at the number one spot is actually going to be the HTI. Now this shouldn't be a surprise to most because of the amount of damage, the accuracy, the range and the penetration on this weapon is insane. You can make the damage maxed out on this weapon depending on what barrel you have. Now as you guys can see my engagement with these enemies are at close range but this honestly doesn't matter at what range you are because it only takes one bullet to kill an enemy really no matter, the how, no matter how far the range out because of the amount of damage on this weapon now this is especially good to take out enemy helicopters enemy vehicles because of the amount of damage that this weapon actually has the rate of fire is just a little less than the g28 but that doesn't really matter being able to one hit any enemy and basically shooting four bullets at a majority of vehicles and being able to explode them now in saying that that actually brings me to the end of the video and i'm going to be moving on to the comments of the day now the first comment of the day comes from Ronnie Ratner. Now he says, F me hard daddy, love your work mate. Now obviously this is a joke, I love his sense of humour and thank you so much man, I really do appreciate the support and thank you. Now the next comment of the day comes from William and Bryson. Now William says ballsack with a love heart and Bryson says pussy foot. Now I don't know what these two mean. Uh, I, I'm guessing they're just trying to get into the fun and everything. But I, I found this pretty funny and I found that I should put this in my video. So thank you too for sharing that with this video and with us and I appreciate it. Now in saying that, that actually does bring me to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this top 5 sniper rifles, then please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to see more content like this. Now, if you guys have any suggestions on video ideas that you guys want to see, then just please let me know down in the comment section down below. And please let me know what you guys do want to see because I'm going to be uploading different types of gameplay. I'm not just going to be doing Wildlands. I'm going to be doing a whole range of games to varying time from time to time, probably most likely doing Rainbow Six Siege and things like that. So with that being said and if you guys do want to see that smash that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys